Welcome back. We are here at Classic Talk with Bing and Dennis. Our guest today is the young tenor Young Hoon Lee. Now, where did we leave off, Bing? We're talking about you know your situation, and uh, so uh, let's talk about. Are you going to do anything different since you can do anything now? Can you do something that you really want to do? You can't. You did not. You know, have a chance to do it in the past. You mean like in, a new in the role or new roles yeah, or yeah. symphonic work or whatever? Yeah. I'm, uh, recently, I did a uh, Verdi Requiem in Lyon. It was masterpiece, also. You know, it's beautiful. Great piece. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I that come easy for you? Yes. Yes. I mean, you know. <laughs> Going back I to that comment about your voice, because I was serious. Because when I hear you sing, it uh -huh. sounds like you just, from the day you were born, you just open your mouth and this incredible sound came. Out. <laughs> because you can hear sometimes with a singer that you can mm -hmm. tell they have worked and worked years and years to mm -hmm. develop some mm -hmm. kind of a mm -hmm. voice. But with yours, it sounds like a God-given, incredible instrument. Thank you. It is. <laughs> 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 yeah, he gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to sing at Met a lot now. Yes, yes, you know, yeah. Lucky enough, yeah, they, they gave me, yeah, some offers. That's great. Yeah. But speaking of the concert stage, what, what, uh, and, and leader uh, concert recitals with piano, do you do any of those? Yeah, I, I made all my recital also uh, recently, not piano, but uh, I made my recital in Chicago Symphony Hall recently. And uh, it was my solo recital with orchestra. And oh, with orchestra. What did you sing? Yeah. I sing all operas. And a couple of uh, Korean songs, and was you know, pff, big raps. The big <laughs> like stuff. A, yeah, Verdi. You like that the big yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't talk about Aida when we were talking about all those Verdi. Was that coming down the line ways? Yeah, my manager started to talk about Aida, and uh, I was thinking about it. yeah, yeah, but. Uh, there's time. Yeah, there's time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Do you worry that sometimes you might push yourself too hard? Yeah, exactly. I, I don't want to sing too much heavy stuff right now because I'm still too yes. young. So, um, yeah. well, but my voice tells, yes, one day I can sing, but uh, not too much uh, in this day. But, but as I told you, I love to sing uh, more Verdi, uh, which is very healthy. Right. And then one day I can sing Otello. One day, maybe mm. when I get forty or fifty or something. <laughs> we we were also talking about it. That I mean, you know, in a singer they need to be patient because you have your time. Mm -hmm. You know, you enjoy and do the best you can mm -hmm. and take care of your voice, mm -hmm. so your career will go a lot longer. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. On the evening of a performance, before that curtain goes up. What do you do to prepare yourself mentally, physically? Do you uh, you warm up a lot? Uh, depends on the role, probably. But yeah. w are you terribly nervous before a show every time? Well, I was. I mean, when I made my first debut in, in Frankfurt, yes, I did. But recently, no. I just try to enjoy hmm. every every each moment. That brings the best to show. You know, if I get nervous too much. Mm -mm. No. That, that's no good. It all. works. Yeah, it yeah. has an effect no, here. No. I just try, even if it's very, uh, uh, a lot of tense in it, but uh, I try, I try my best to enjoy it every each moment. The day of a performance, do you, are you basically quiet? Do you, are you want, some singers will not speak on the day of a performance. Yes, right? quiet and just, you know, like a normal. Yeah, relax. I think very fortunately because uh, your wife is also a musician, so mm -hmm. she understands where you're coming from. So, exactly, yeah. you know, she's uh, you know probably help you in that way too. Mm -hmm. She's my angel. <laughs> <laughs> I have many angels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, it's, we're talking about being an Asian mm -hmm. and uh, you know try to break into this Western culture, mm -hmm. you know, operas and things like that. Do you find uh, a lot of obstacle or you do find difficult to get into it at the early stage? Well, uh, frankly, uh -huh. it's not easy right. because um, we're Asian, I'm That's Asian, right. and we're 
working in the Western culture. It's opera, is, you yeah. know, except Turandot or mm, Madame that's Madame. Right. <laughs> But yeah, it's not easy. So um, we must work very hard to be, um, I mean, languages mm, yeah, and sure. also musically, mm -hmm. about you know, singing, right. everything. So, um, or, or even, you know, people would think, okay, you don't look mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to be, yeah, yeah. and you are Asian. Exactly. Now, <laughs> how do you convince them? I mean, how do you convince them that I can do this, I can do this better than other? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you must have that moment. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as an opera singer, mm -hmm. I just try to, the number one important thing is, the singing, you know. Yeah. So I must uh, sing the best. Right. Than others. Right. The, 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 you know that's uh, most important to me, and an act. We, I must bring something new, mm -hmm. and through uh, from my heart. Mm -hmm. Not just you know something special, funny yeah. things, but just you know through my soul, mm -hmm. and that that can bring something you know that, that can uh, give something more uh, special to the the people in this business so i can present myself mm -hmm. have you found more obstacles in certain countries than others say with this uh, being asian question or is it have you is it basically the same everywhere in the western world <laughs> 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 well um it's always a pleasure to sing Italy because it's opera culture is from Italy. Right. Mm -hmm. Italy, op Italian opera especially. But it's not easy, you know, especially in Scala, the Scala and certain places. Yeah, I must bring extra energy, extra uh, beauty, something, you know. Mm -hmm. They're probably extremely demanding on your perfect diction in the Italian exactly. language when you exactly. sing at La Scala. Exactly, yeah. Yes. Was, you know, especially, you know, I made my debut, uh, 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 Cavalleria Rusticana, the Scala, and they doubt, you know, because uh, I'm Asian, and uh, I must be Sicilian. How come, you know? Yeah. But I must act like a Sicilian and singing like Italian, you know, with Italian language. So that was big challenge, but. You know, but you're lucky lucky I got big success, and then, then they invite me again. Yeah, so if they invite you again, it must have been a big success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I guess you probably feel it now. Mm. It's different than before. Yeah, the after I like a, uh, you know, uh, made the debut, uh, my debut at certain places, and then they invite me again. Uh, which means, you know, sure. I got success. Right. Then, uh, when I visit uh, next time, mm -hmm. it's, m it's much comfortable. You know, sure, it's, sure, it's sure. Very re I can be relaxed. Right, right. right. So you don't feel you have to prove yourself. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel that they will ask you, you say, well, do you think you can sing this role? You now, any, you know, any opera house or, you know, a manager or something, yeah. and will ask you, say, well, do you think you can sing this one just because for a lot of the different conditions and uh, mm -hmm. being Asian? All right. So I think you I mean if, a, say, a director of an opera house that hears you in such mm -hmm. and such a role, he'll say, we want you to sing this mm -hmm. role. Mm -hmm. um, but then you have to decide if it's right for you. So yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Always I discuss with, with my uh, voice teacher and my manager, yeah. They know uh, my voice very well, so and also, you know, very um, uh, considerable together. Yeah. So you've been with the same voice teacher basically all the time since you came to America. Is that correct? No, I, I had a uh, the voice teacher, but but I switched to, uh, to Arthur Levy, to and then still still I'm working with him. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah. So he keeps fine tuning with you, or just maintaining? How do you describe the kind of as the years go by, how how does the work change with him? Is it, what's it all about? Just maintaining? Yeah, you know, you know, uh, the human voice is always uh, is changing every moment, every year. So we must uh, control and check uh, 
uh, every moment. So that's why we, it, a voice teacher is very, very necessary. So uh, we were working on it. Yeah. So um, it must it's be working. On. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to find someone who really understand your exactly. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you find that's a difficult to find a match? In these days, yeah, it's really, really a big challenge, big deal mm -hmm. to find a great teacher. Yeah. Why is that? Because you know, I I have a lot of experience, and also I saw many many very very talented singers, and they disappeared suddenly. Mm. They uh, got a huge gift from above, and then it seems to happen more with very sad, tenors right? than anybody else. These days. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be victim. negative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's true, you know. So it, it's, uh, I think, uh, number one important for singers to have a uh, right, great voice teacher. And um, I guess that's, uh, you know, all important because you have to have someone who can understand you. Mm -hmm. and because it's so, so sensitive. That's right. It so fragile, and so yeah, sensitive, exactly, and so yeah. personal. Mm -hmm. And also, it's hard to find a right manager, you know, <laughs> willing to push exactly. you or do that, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah, yeah, I'm so lucky. They're great, yeah, very, uh, re really my good friend, great mm -hmm. good friend of mine, yeah. Speaking of good friends, now, mm -hmm. in an opera house, there's one person during a performance that mm -hmm. could, is a very good friend to you, there are more than one, but one particularly is the person down there in the box, the prompter. Mm -hmm. Now, you sing at some houses that don't have prompters, and some, like here at the Met, where they do have a prompter. Do you consider yourself real dependent on a prompter, or not so dependent? Yeah, it's, it's always helpful, you know, if, if we have prompters. I mean, in, in Europe, uh, a couple of places, without a couple of places, we don't have a prompter. How do you feel like when it? you go there? Is it? Well, I mean, uh, if I sing over 100 times, like, like Tosca or Carmen Don Carlos, it's That's okay, no problem, yeah. but if I brought uh, new roles like a uh, Patalia de Legnano or some uh, ballet mask or something like that, then a little bit, you know, yeah. <laughs> nervous. Not not even about text, musically, you know. Sometimes uh, the conductor, he, uh, the conductor has to do a lot of things at the same time, you know, for orchestra, for singers, many 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 pr principal singers. But he, he cannot focus just for me. So then uh, prompter can help something musically also. Yeah. Right. Yes. Speaking so of conductors, do I dare ask you, do you have, have you had a favorite conductor that you felt, oh my God, with this person and I just am able to sing so well and make beautiful music? Wow. Or too yeah, many of this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them is Yannick. I sang Don Carlo at the Met. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also um, uh, Armiliato, I sing Don Carlo also in Munich. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. And also uh, so many. I mean, <laughs> what, what is it a conductor? What's the difference? What what makes you feel good? What with a conductor? Because uh, I love someone, not even conductor. Also, uh, my colleague on stage. They are uh, acceptable. We can communicate each mm -hmm. other, not just, just follow me, that doesn't work, mm -hmm. you know. But also when I uh, uh, singing with my colleague, there's some people, it's playable, you know. If I do something, somebody can react. Right. Yeah, right. It, mm -hmm. it's all, it can make uh, the beautiful art, beautiful one picture. Also, you know, for conduct conductor, same thing, but uh, you know, but because for sure, uh, before uh, we 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 do rehearse because mm -hmm. we have to um, work together right. and promise together. Right. We do this this. Mm -hmm. We have this point. But but for uh, in w as soon as we get a performance, uh, it must be you know enjoyable and f right. free to to play a lot of things That's right. at the same time. It's so like a unity and yes. a yeah, 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 yeah. Don't we have a clip? Um, we don't. 
No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we will have one later on. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Um, so when when you need to get away from opera and mm -hmm. rest your voice and escape if you need to, what uh, what do you do? Did you? Yeah, I just um, exercise with jogging or swimming. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about all that weight. You said you lost it, and now you you've kept kept it off for all those. Yeah, years. now I'm I have um, now I'm uh, 70, 74, 75, mm -hmm. 74. Kilogram. Because you, you exercise all the time. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think yeah, because, because in, in, in the, uh, I mean, not in the past, mm -hmm. uh, people always thinking tenor, they are big. Yeah, so they yeah. have a lot of support. And uh, for you, you're very slender, yeah. and, uh, but you have this voice. <laughs> so well, how, how do you feel? You were there before, so. You know, I remember my first ex experience. That was my debut uh -huh. at Deutsche Oper. It was Tosca, and uh, somebody, the dresser came to me. Are you really Puccini's tenor? Yes. Are you really? C can you sing really for Tosca? Yes. I think you're Rossini or Mozart. Really? Okay, we will see. And I have, after my performance, wow, what a voice! <laughs> 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 you, your body likes dancer, not singer. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what I heard. But. Um, you know, so I think uh, it can be half uh, the big body, mm -hmm. but it's not uh, number one important mm -hmm. to make uh, the rich sound. It's all about technique, I think. Right, right. Yeah. Speaking of Tosca, what goes through your mind at the end of Tosca when you're standing there being fired at by all those guys with guns in their hand and mm -hmm. the guns all go off? Mm -hmm. what, what's it feel like? It's very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, uh, I got experience in the Roma. It was Franco Zeffirelli, new production of Tosca. I sang in there. And uh, they put rear fire. I mean, uh, not rear Bolton Bart, but uh, the very, it can be heard, my uh, face. And they always aim my face. Uh -huh. And it's not really far. I mean, quite uh, close. close. Yeah. yeah. And I asked them, don't aim my face, please. <laughs> Here on the, somewhere, not face, but they always forgot. Oh. And it's, it's the fire on my face sometimes. And I ask them over and over, but I got four performances, but I only got one performance. They didn't aim my face. <laughs> 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 With my my uh, the uh, the memory, it's, it's very scary. <laughs> the, sure. the final gunshot is very scary. Speaking of such moments, have yeah. you had other moments on the opera stage which something funny has happened to you, like you've torn your pants or who knows what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I I had that moment in uh, Carmen in Hamburg, and I kneeled down and begging. Carmen <laughs> in the Act 4, and it was oh, Really? <laughs> yeah. And I couldn't concentrate on my singing <laughs> after that. Yeah. Do you think the audience noticed it? Was it very, was it I hope not. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, that's why after that, I learned if I take a black pants, I always wear black underwear. Uh. And if I wipe it, I always, <laughs> yeah, that's my... <laughs> That's a smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Always. Exactly. Now, uh, have you this experience? You know, how do you advise the young singers nowadays? You know, I mean, you're young, but still, yeah, yeah. you have a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. The ups and downs. Yeah. Be patient. It's Be it's patient. very because um, because you know, as I told you, I had to wait for a long time. Even if I want all competitions, uh, we need we need time to make a career. So, I mean, if uh, somebody has a the very good technique in their pocket, mm -hmm. then the timing will come definitely. Right. But without uh, the from the technique, even if we have a. a very good opportunity that doesn't help. Right. It will make a very short career, but or you know something, you know. <laughs> but if we have a, a very good technique in our pocket, of course you have to have a voice too, right? Yeah. Then <laughs> then you know. 
sometimes it will happen. Do you have a desire to teach one day, either here or to go back and help young singers in Korea? Yeah, I love to share what I receive from, from God one day. You know, I'm, I'm, now I'm sharing also, but, but you know, if I have a chance, right, right, right. I love to. Do you hear of uh, young singers in Korea beginning their career? Or do they, are, you, are they in touch with you anyway? No. No. Because, um, you know, I really got hard, hard work every each moment. And now, no uh, as you say, yeah, like a sh rocket career. <laughs> so, <laughs> couldn't have a time. One period of time, there are several, you know, Korean singers. Yeah, you know, and yeah, there's so many good yeah. Korean singers uh, this day. Yeah, yeah, so many. I mean, I mean w w when I sing in Europe, there's so many. So there must be singers. very good training at the conservatory. Is there I just so. are there many conservatories or just the one in Seoul or? Where does yeah, many conservatories. Many. Yeah, but uh -huh. uh, I think they are very wonderful gift. Right. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think this is uh, has to do with the language or you know the way you build and everything? Oh, it's a combination of all those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, so um, okay. Next, mm -hmm. where are you going to sing? The very next. Uh, after this, I will sing uh, Turandot. Ah. <laughs> Where? <laughs> that was my yeah. That will be my debut role. Ah, you've and never done it. Yeah, yeah, in Bologna. In Bologna. Yeah, and then a Deutsche Oper and Ballet Mascara, and then in March, uh, uh, Don Carlo Fourth version, and then French original version of Don Carlos in Vienna. And then Lyon. Sounds Leon. like the calendar is full. Yeah, uh, new production of Carmen. And I come back to Metropolitan Opera House for Carmen. When you pick something new like Turandot, mm -hmm. are you aware of, do you think maybe I should sing that in a small house first? Bologna, I don't know the house, but is it fairly small? Or do you take those things into consideration? Oh, well, actually, you know what? Um, bunch of opera uh, uh, places they they uh, asked me before for Toronto but I didn't want to say yes because you know I want to I, I didn't want to do too early, uh, too early. Yeah. so I let them wait I said no 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 and that was uh, quite big places you know but now uh, my mentor said actually you know to me I have a very could secure top and uh, it's not really a difficult role because if we compare with Don Carlo it's or Trovatore or Umbale Mascara we can sing and rest sing and rest you know you know the, the music so let's try once and let's see and sure. then if it's not it, it doesn't help for you you can leave it alone we don't, yeah. you can't go back to it so you know so it's my, you know, first Sounds time. Sounds very to, smart. Yeah, yeah. I think on that note, I just hope your careers continue to go yeah. up and up. And uh, we so wish you all the very best. It's thank been you a so much. Thank tremendous you. delight having you here on our show. Thank you, thank you so you much. Thank you for coming and being with thank us. You. This has been Classic Talk with Bing and Dennis.